Welcome to Kids Fishing. Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Kids Fishing, where I make it easier to teach your kids to fish. And today we're going to be looking at saltwater fishing sinker selection. So we've got a range of saltwater sinkers, and we're going to take a look at why you choose different types of sinkers and what are the benefits of using them. So let's now take a look at a whole range of fishing sinkers. So firstly we have the ball sinker range. Now these have been around for as long as I can remember and you can see in this case here I think this is a three ounce, a two, a one and this I think might be half. The great thing about ball sinkers is that they are really good for running along your line so if you are wanting to maybe stray bait or something along those lines you can use a ball sinker and you can obviously vary the weight of the sinker depending on a how far you're going to cast b the strength of the current or wind conditions and ideally you want to put as little weight on your line as possible to get the achieved cast distance or get it down to the fish. So the littlest weight possible will give you the most sensitivity through your line to the fish so that you can feel it biting. If you put a big heavy sinker on, you've got uh, more weight sitting there and uh, less sensitivity. So I try and use um, as small a sinker as possible. So on maybe a really calm day, uh, just using the weight of a whole pilchard, you could use a very small sinker combined with the weight of the pilchard and actually just cast that um, out. And just the little weight there will help the pilchard drop down through the water column and get your bait to the fish that are waiting. So that's the ball sinker range. Next we've got which is called a pyramid sinker. Now they've also been around for a long time and they can be used in different directions. So normally you have uh, a swivel and this line would be running out to, this end would be running out to the rod. This end here runs out to the hook or hooks and then you have the, the weight moving along the line and a swivel as a stop. Now you can change the direction, as you see it's got a big end and a small end, so you can change the direction of the pyramid to give you some form of traction potentially on the bottom. And I have heard uh, in strong current environments where you've got sort of four, five, six knots of outgoing water current, that you can actually put two sinkers together like this and that creates more of a smooth uh, flow across the sinkers and it's less likely to actually move your sinker uh, along the water bottom. That would obviously be used on sand or something like that. Uh, so that's the pyramid sinker. Then we have what's called either the snapper or bank sinker. And you can see there's a three ounce and a two ounce and I use this style quite a bit. Uh, you normally have these on the bottom of your rig so you tie onto the bottom here and then run up to your hooks and then to your rod and they cast quite well. Uh, the next style is called the bell drop casting or swivel sinker. We've got a one ounce, a two ounce, so I think this is a five. Uh, the good thing about this type of sinker is that the attachment point is good so you can tie a knot on this quite easily and it holds fast. Again a similar style to the snapper or bank sinker in terms of the way they act and cast. Um, I, I use quite a few of those as well. Then we have this style here which I bought recently and Effectively it's the same as one of these but it's got wings on it and it's got a uh, swivel tie on point and I understand that um, the fins are designed to cast it more aerodynamically so I don't know whether that's designed to catch the fishermen or the fish but uh, that I think is a three ounce sinker so that's another style then we move on to this style of sinker here which is really for either deep sea fishing or extreme uh, currents it's, it's big I think it's 14 ounces 
and uh, there's a, obviously a range of sizes that these come in but this is a particularly heavy sinker great for maybe weighing down your burley or something like that now in environments we have a strong current uh, if you use a ball sinker or something round you'll tend to find that it'll actually move along the, the bed of the uh, sea with the current and you can actually feel if you cast out you can actually feel your line moving along and that's because the sinker is actually rolling along the bottom uh, sinkers like this might be a little bit better but it really depends on the current you could use a sinker like this because it has a flat face to it so it might sit more effectively on the seabed depending on the strength of the current but when you're getting to quite strong currents then you really need to use something like this which is a, a sand grip sinker as you can see it's got little points on it and the idea is that it beds down in the sand and gives you some form of friction your tie and point is here and for uh, I guess a really strong attachment to the seabed to stop your uh, rig from moving along with the current you can use what's called a breakout sinker like this or a Sputnik type and the advantage with these is obviously these prongs will um, pull into the sand and give you a, a greater uh, bind with the seabed and the idea is that when um, you want to pull in your line these pieces here actually flip out and come away and then you can pull in your line so they give you the combination the ability to retrieve but also when they're in place um, they stick into the seabed so these are, are particularly good for fast flowing currents when you are beach fishing if you're fishing with children they're going to likely be using a, a smaller sinker depending on the current that you're fishing in, the depth of water that you're fishing in and also the, the fish that you're targeting as well. Obviously if it's a small fish then you're going to be using much smaller sinkers because you want sensitivity. So this gives you an introduction to different types of sinkers and you can see that uh, there's a range of sinkers and you can use them in different ways and some are better for certain types of fishing than others so you've got the surf or high current type sinkers where you've got a sandy bottom these are great uh, you've got the all-purpose round sinker which is great for running a line through maybe if you're stray lining or using whole pilchards or something like that or you can use them on the bottom of your rig but they're probably better as a, a running sinker again um, use something like this as a running sinker these are ideal for putting on the bottom of a ledger line or the bottom of your rig same with these same with this and this is obviously a very heavy weight for either deep uh, sea fishing very high currents or using to weigh your burley or something else down i hope you found this video on sinker use and sinker styles useful please leave a comment below if you've got any questions or information you'd like to know about sinkers how to use them or you've got some hints and tips of your own about using sinkers for fishing with children please do subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next kids fishing adventure. Thanks for watching another episode of Kids Fishing. Please subscribe to the Kids Fishing channel for more great fishing tips and kids fishing adventures. And leave your comments below. We'd love to hear about your kids fishing adventures.